Hello everybody, I've got an Aldi haul. Uh, if you saw our out and about with Mike and Joy, we, we went out uh, to Aldi just to get a few things and uh, we filmed it because a lot of y'all don't have any snow. So I um, thought y'all might like to see a little bit of the snow. But uh, we, we kind of thought they would be, uh, but One of those, one of those peppers is already. I should have put those in the fridge. The green peppers, they 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 don't last real long at Aldi. Sometimes I've noticed. But anyway, I get off the subject. Uh, we didn't realize it when we pulled in doing the the out and about uh, how busy they were. Uh, they about every parking space in that whole lot was full, and almost all the buggies were gone. Uh, they were real busy, in other words. So they were pretty wiped out. So I'm glad we didn't really need much uh, because we wouldn't have been able to get it. I mean, it was just empty. Uh, and she said they should have a truck coming in. See, today's Wednesday. Uh, she said they should have a truck coming in tomorrow or the next day, Thursday or Friday. Uh, so, you know, of course, we... Uh, we, we like I said, I, I if I'd have had a big long list, I'd have been like, oh my gosh, half of it we're not getting, you know. So that's aggravating. But it's because they had, you know, we had that snow and everything, and they're calling for really cold temperatures and more snow each day. Uh, it doesn't. I don't hadn't saw anything on or seen anything on how much accumulation or anything, but snow somewhere. So we got some of these little mandarins. Mandy's as that says and we wanted something for uh, a dessert and I don't know if I've ever we've ever tried this uh, it's a Belmont chocolate cream pie it says rich chocolate and whipped cream layers and a chocolatey cookie crust so it looks and sounds great uh, I can't I don't think we've ever got that uh, we needed some we're having a uh, Sloppy Joe's tonight, and I just had some like leftover buns, and they're not really that fresh, you know. They'd be good to toast, like to make garlic bread or something with, but I thought I'd get some fresh, just plain old. I didn't get the brioche, I didn't want to spend I'm like three, they're really not that bad, $3.89 for six. So I just went ahead and got those. Let me see how much they are. Uh, got some steamed, Seasons Choice steamed broccoli florets. It says steamed. I guess it's a steamed bag. I don't know. Uh, I think we got two of those. Got two of those. Uh, I don't know if she's planning on making something or what. We got this for Logan. It's the pure aqua cranberry flavored water beverage. Set that there for now. Um, if y'all haven't ever tried this there and uh, you like smoked cheddar cheese, this is wonderful. Kroger has one, but it's it's their uh, private selection or whatever, and it's really good too. But uh, I think it doesn't weigh as much for one thing, and uh, it's like three ninety nine. And I'll have to look. But I th I don't think this was. I think this is something like two forty nine. So it's like a dollar fifty less. And this is great. It's just as good or better than the uh, Kroger one. And we got some chocolate bars. This one's raspberry almond dark chocolate. And this one's milk chocolate with almonds. I meant to get dark chocolate. I don't know how I grabbed that one. I, I was looking at the dark chocolate one. Uh, we've got some of these Happy Farms String Low Moisture Part Skin Mozzarella Cheese. It looks like there's there's 12 in there. Um, got some of their Pepper Jack. And you can actually see the peppers in this. Uh, in the Kroger brand, they've changed it, and it's it's awful. It's just white. You barely see anything in it you know as far as the pepper so i tried to just get this one um been telling y'all about this lunch meat and that's they only had two of these left i was surprised there was any of these left 
Uh, this is that honey, uh, smoked honey turkey breast, the Castlewood Reserve. It's a whole pound. And it, this stuff is delicious. I mean, if you like smoked turkey, it's it, it, it's good. And then it's a little sweet, you know, from the honey. Okay, and we got two of these. I had to dig for these. Always, if you're at Aldi, here's a little tip. If the front is empty, I don't, you know, if, you, if you're not very in good shape or, or, or anything, you might not want to try stuff like this. But I... Uh, you know, I worked in lots of supermarkets, uh, you know, uh, when I was real young. But um, uh, look behind them. You know, they're on rollers, and the, the thing's in the freezer, and they're at an incline. So what happens is when they pull an empty box out, the others usually just roll forward unless they hit something. So if you see an empty box, kind of look behind it. You may be able to reach back there and get what you need behind it or what well, like I did. I pulled the empty box out myself. I'm not saying you should do this, but if you want to get what you came there for, that's what I did. I pulled the empty box out, which I don't see anything wrong with that. Somebody will even get that box to use to put their stuff in. And I put it underneath where it was empty. The other one came forward and they had the, they had the, all they had in the front box that was left was sausage gravy something uh, but I saw these back there so I, I pulled out that empty box and it just rolled right forward and I was able to get the ones we wanted because lots of times they'll be still be back there but you don't see them when you look at it you can't see them because it's like a little incline and the stuff is going back through there and you, you can't see but so far so you might think they're out of something when they really got a bunch of it right behind that Okay, that's it. Let's go over the prices. Yeah, we didn't get a whole lot of stuff. We just didn't need it. Y'all, if y'all have seen the hauls lately we had, uh, you'll know we're in pretty good shape. Okay, the mandarins, that they had a real good buy on them for $2.99. The string cheese was $2.49. All their cheese and, and different kinds of cheese are really good prices. $2.49. The pepper jack was $1.89. The smoked was uh, smoked cheddar was two forty nine. I was so I was right about that price. The honey turkey was five forty nine. That's a whole pound, so that's really not that bad. As good as it is, the chocolate cream pie was five thirty five. The hamburger buns were dollar twenty nine. Only thing I don't like is they're, they're really small. Dollar uh, twenty nine. Uh, the the uh, cranberry drink was seventy nine cents. The broccoli was a dollar nine. That's a that's a good buy. Kroger used to have their brand of uh, vegetables, frozen vegetables, all the time, ten for a dollar, and uh, now they're like a dollar fifty nine all the time. They don't hardly ever run them cheap. So uh, the milk chocolate bar was a dollar thirty nine. The the uh, other one, the dark chocolate one, was a dollar ninety nine. The breakfast bowls were a dollar ninety nine each. And that's it. And it was 33.32. So, wasn't that bad? Uh, like I said, we didn't really need much, but I'm really glad that we got the stuff when we did. We got all. We stocked up before we even knew that it was supposed to get bad or anything. But um, a lot of people they'll wait, and, and in this town anyway, it's probably the same everywhere. They'll wait and uh, until they call for it that next day. And then they'll go stampeding into the grocery store, you know, and grab everything. Uh, it's like they panic, a lot of people do. And then lots of times they'll be calling for it, and then the next day when it was supposed to happen, it never, nothing ever really happened. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, oh, well, you know, I guess better safe than sorry is the way they're thinking. But that, that, that's one, one of the reasons I, I go ahead and stay stocked up. I keep extras of a lot of like non-perishable stuff uh, to where, you know, if we didn't want to uh, or couldn't, it wouldn't be a problem if we didn't go get groceries for a long time. You know, we could, we could make out with all the stuff I've got. Yeah. So might run out of meat, you know, uh, but we could, I could, uh, I don't know how long we could last without, having to get groceries if we absolutely had to like an emergency probably a couple months at least 
uh, but that's what that's what my goal was is to make it to where you know I've got this extra freezer and I'm, then I got I try to keep a lot of non-perishable items you know and stuff that you use though eventually not just not something like I'm not gonna buy cases of spam you know and and we don't ever eat spam you know stuff like that but actually we used to when we were on a really you know tight budget worse than we are now years ago uh, we, we used to eat spam it's not really that bad I like it with barbecue sauce anyway I'm just running my mouth I guess so <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and go it just wasn't that big of a haul but we you know Sometimes you don't have to get that much. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it very much. I, if you enjoyed this, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Have a great day, everybody, and God bless. Bye-bye.